guys, I'm back today with a video on a brand that I have actually never had a chance to try. I have bought things from their site, but never their brand. The brand that I'm talking about is Beauty Bay, and the palette that I'm talking about is the Wilderness palette. The second that my eyes clapped upon the image of this palette, I instantly, my heart started to flutter. That's how I knew that this was the one for me. That sounds like... <laughs> I'm making a commitment to you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this palette looked incredible and I cannot wait to talk about a few different things with you. First of all, this is $15. Now, granted, depending on where you live, you will have to pay shipping, but $15. $15. But I was just astonished by the price. I was shocked. I was amazed. I was like, but well, I've never tried Beauty Bay, so I don't know what their actual quality is going to be. It could be terrible. Maybe I'm sending $15 foolishly, but I wanted to give them a chance. And boy, am I glad that I did. Because this is what the outer packaging looks like. It actually came like in a pretty large, I mean, that's kind of big, really. But it did have a lot of like stuffing on the inside, so I appreciate that. When you open it up, this is what the actual palette looked like which is beautiful. Like you guys know, I love greens. Greens speak to my soul and this is no different. When you open it up, <laughs> heavenly choirs sing and this is what it looks like. Oh, I guess I can show you. This is the mirror. It's a really good size. I actually still have the plastic on it because I'm kind of weird. I leave plastic on stuff a lot. But this is the color story and I just want you guys to take a look at it for a second. Does it remind you of anything? I did post this on my Instagram, so if you would, I actually stayed silent, that's hilarious. <laughs> I posted this on my Instagram, and the more I've looked at it, the more I realize that it is both of these palettes put together. I'm going to post a picture here of both of the palettes, and I'm just going to compare it out here. So when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing the Melt Muerte and the Melt Vita palette. Done for a fraction of the cost that you paid for both of those palettes, and especially now since you really can't get them. They have re-released the Vita palette on their website, but the Muerte is still, <laughs> rest in pieces, not to be found. And... I'm telling you guys, there's so many similarities between the two that if you guys are interested in seeing a video where I compare both of those palettes to this palette, I will be happy to do that for you because I think this is an affordable way to get those colors into your collection. I said that really creepily, like, aha, <laughs> act now. But really, this is a beautiful palette. The textures in here remind me a lot of like Huda Beauty, Lunar Beauty, uh, it's Bell, kind of that creamy, soft, metallic, multi-chrome type of formula. The mattes are pretty good. They're not the best, but they're they're pretty darn good. For $15, I'm going to let it slide. I didn't think they were the easiest to work with, but I didn't think they were the hardest either. And for me, I'm going, it's $15. It's $15. It's $15. Yeah, it's totally good. So for me, I'm not let down at all. Personally, I cannot wait to swatch this for you guys so you can see some of these shades. I used everything pretty much except for the greens, which is heartbreaking to my soul. So if you guys want to see another video where I compare these to the Melt palettes, I'm just saying I will be using green, so don't, don't judge me. The other thing I did not mention is that this actually shipped fairly quickly, and coming from overseas, I was really surprised because things have been a hot mess. The very last thing I want to touch on with you guys is what is on my lips today. So I am wearing the Badass Beauties. This is one of their lip slash eye pencils. This is the shade number two. I love it. I personally, this might, might be my favorite, maybe, possibly. Maybe. <laughs> and then I topped it with Kaleidos and this is the shade Adobe. Oh my goodness. Guys, they are actually releasing some new ones of these and I wasn't going to get them because I'm on a low buy. I am on a low buy. I'm trying not to buy some stuff right now. <sighs> but I'm having a hard time. But the colors are not my like exact favorite colors, so I think I'm going to hold that. I, I don't know what to do here. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do. But the formula of these is really interesting. This is like what Makeup Geek's mousse formula lipsticks were supposed to be like. And I, they kind of were, but... But these right here, this is like the perfect version of them. The last thing I used was Lunar Beauty. This is Celine. And she's pretty. She's really pretty. She's got a little bit of sparkle. She's a little champagne-y, and I am here for her all day. So now that you know that, I'm going to go ahead and do swatches, and I will do this eye look and another eye look, and I'll be back at the very end for my final thoughts. All right, you guys, we are going to attempt to get all 20 shades right here. The very first shade is called Snow. And I apologize, that's extremely close to the color of my skin. It's like a very, it's like a beige, it's like a beige color. <laughs> the next shade is called Sky. That is a sky blue, slightly cerulean sky blue. The shade is called Ray. is a beautiful kind of yellowy green sheer and gorgeous shade hint of red as well the next shade I have on in the background and that is the shade Twilight And 
That's kind of like a deep navy blue, almost. Shade is called Ocean. Now that is a unique and gorgeous shade. So it's kind of like a, a deep purple, well, it's kind of like a deep periwinkle base with purple and blue, and it does actually go a little bit green. It is stunning. Second row is called Forest. Beautiful green shade. Ooh. The next shade is called Breeze. Kind of green shifting gold color. Woo Next shade is called Mint. And that's a slightly more pistachio than mint shade in my opinion. Moss. Oh, that shade is one of the most beautiful green shades I've ever seen. It's green. It has a lighter green, a slight, a slight hint of gold. It's beautiful. It's ivy. That is a beautiful deep green shade. Shade is lime. Is it, oh, I'm dying. These greens, I'm so sad I have not used them. That is a green gold, and I, I wish it were on me. It is called Leaf. Gorgeous, like, yellowy green shade. Oh, I love it. It is Eucalyptus. called eucalyptus. I feel like, if anything, this could have been closer to eucalyptus. Just saying. This is more like a deep yellowy green shade, and it is gorgeous. It's marigold. And that's a slightly more orange than goldenrod shade, but ooh, it is pretty. It is fossil. And that's kind of like a pinky, orangey, gold. It's beautiful. Okay, the first shade of the last row is called Poppy. Woo, girl. Shade is called Raw. Leo, don't even think about it. And that's kind of like a burgundy red. Next shade is Heat. Okay, so that's kind of like a reddish orange gold glittered shade. It is very pretty. Just as a note, it's not as glittery as the rest of these. The next shade is called Earth. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. This is probably not going to swatch, swatch well at all because this is like my wrist. This is not the shadow's fault. Oh, Lord. It looks terrible. I'm so sorry. Shade Sunrise. And please remember, this is not the fault of the shadow. This is just a placement. My hands are really dry. I constantly wash my hands and sanitize. So, so that is just a really beautiful orange shade. like in low light.
All right, you guys, I am back and I want to give you my final thoughts. So first things first, the packaging. I actually really like the packaging. I think they good. I think they do a good job of shipping stuff because I didn't have anything come damaged. And I kind of like the way they do it. They do it like Juvia's Place. So they actually have the like a bigger box and then they have bubble wrap and the pallets inside the bubble wrap inside of the box. And then it's wrapped up again within a bigger box. And everything got here safely. So I think I'm a fan of and it. this is what the outer box looks like. It's very cute. I actually like that it's got a tree slice as the background picture of it. With the pallet itself, you've got the tree bar at least I think that's tree bark. I could be wrong. Let me know. It does let you know that this palette is cruelty free, which I'm a big fan of. In a perfect world, it would be vegan as well. But you can't have everything you want for $15. And for $15, this is the color story inside. And I've got to say the quality is pretty darn good. The hardest thing to use in here, and I say hardest very loosely because it was not that bad, was the mats. The mats are not the best and not the worst. They're right middle of the road as far as I'm concerned. They're not bad. And for $15, I think they're pretty darn good. But the real star of the show is the value you get in these metallic slash multi-chromes. Oh my goodness gracious. You would pay so much more for these. Like literally, let's break this down. There are 20 shades in this palette. 20 shades and you're getting it for $15. You're paying less than a dollar a shade. Like, <sighs> that's crazy. So you guys, I definitely think, especially if you liked and did not or were not able to pick up Melt Morte and Vita palettes, this is your way to get that experience at a fraction of the price. And... I don't think you're going to be let down, personally. That's just my thought. Again, if you guys do want to see me compare both of those palettes to this one and maybe swatch it on out, let me know in the comments below because I will happily do that. <laughs> it's such a chore. Please don't ask me to do it. I'm totally kidding. Uh, but in any case, this shipped fairly quickly. It got here safely. And what else can we ask for at that price? So definitely, if you've been looking at this, I think it is well worth the money. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And personally, I think it's a really good value. I cannot wait to use it a little bit more, especially like with some of my other palettes that I've got coming up that don't have any mats. I'll be able to play with some of those greens <laughs> very soon. With all that being said, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below. In fact, if you made it to the end of this video, let's leave an emoji. What kind of an emoji should we leave? Leave your favorite smiley face emoji. It can be a not smiley face as well. Just leave your favorite one down there and I will love to see what it is. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.